Have you ever wanted to do a TBSS intake swap, but knew you couldn't make your own throttle cable bracket? Or maybe you did make a bracket, and it just didn't fit right. For years, many have suffered from GAPD, Glenn's Auto Performance Deficiency. But now there's hope. Thanks to Glenn, we now have a bolt-on solution for throttle cables. Don't let GAPD stop you from achieving your freedom. What's going on everyone? So thank you for stopping in. Uh, you're probably watching this video because you are thinking about or already have swapped a Trailblazer SS or NNBS intake on your truck. Um, if you're cable driven, you know that one of the big obstacles you're going to have to overcome is your throttle cable bracket. Um, there's really no bolt-on options out there. Actually, there is none. So you have to make your own bracket. Well, today that changes. We have a bolt-on bracket from Glenn's Auto Performance. I have one right here. We're going to open it up, which I kind of already did, but I put it back the way it came. So we're going to open it up, and I'm going to show you how to install it and some of the really cool features about it. All right, so it comes in a package just like so. So right off the bat, we got some cool stickers. We got a pen and a business card that happens to be magnetic. That's cool. Stick it on your fridge or whatever. These add at least five horsepower piece. Pin. And here are some instructions for you. Comes with hardware, two bolts. And here it is. So right off the bat, I gotta tell you how good a quality this is. Um, it's powder coated. Or they you know CNC bend it, whatever. It's got slots instead of just a hole like mine. I just had to drill holes, and where it is is where it is. So if I ever change anything, or the throttle cable you know gets slack in it, there's no way for me to adjust it. This is completely adjustable. You'll put these on, slide it back and forth to where your throttle cable tension is where you want it, and then bolt it down. So I'll go. We'll go ahead and go over to my truck. I'll show you the setup I have, and I'll show you why this is a much better option. Alright, so here is my Trailblazer SS intake swap. You can see this is the factory bracket, which I ended up cutting the front off, um, getting my own piece of flat iron, bending it, and kind of just drilling holes and kind of eyeballing it, which you can see there's a little bit of slack in this and whatnot. Um, it kind of works, but it could be a lot better. So we're going to take this one off, and I'm going to go over the instructions and show you how to install the new one. And here it is, I have it you know, loosely on here, so as, as you can see, it can slide forward and back, which is a very good thing. The uh, cable's going the same way your factory ones do, so we'll snap these in. Alright. Okay, so right off the bat you can see all the way forward I have a little slack. So the problem I had was my throttle body was actually closed too much so I had to open the set screw but with my old setup when I moved it back and opened the throttle up a little more I had a lot of slack. So now I could just slide this back till I got the tension I like and tighten it down. That way you take any slop out of there because I mean there's a couple of reasons why. I mean not only if you adjust this, like my old setup, I, I was you know stuck where I was. But over time, if your cable you know stretches out and wears out, you could just slide it back a little more. You never have to worry about it. And this just looks so much better than the spray painted piece I had. You spend all the money doing a good swap, and then you have an ugly bracket like I had. So now everything looks good. I'm a lot happier with this setup. So here's is the uh, factory bracket off the truck. You see, I, mean, I had to kind of just guess and uh, bend up and bend down, whatever, and then I put some vice grips on it to where I liked it, then I had to take it off, get it welded, and then paint it, but it's like I said, it was kind of just a band-aid deal. Um, it was only good for so long. Once I adjusted the throttle body, I had slack on the pedal, and now it is nice and firm the whole way through, so there's no delay or whatever when you hit the gas 
So here are the instructions. Uh, like you saw everything it came with. The bracket, the two bolts, and the two washers. So Glenn's Auto Performance also sells a lot of other cool stuff. Um, I'll put the link for their website down here. They have an eBay account um, on their page. I will also put a link to this. They have the frequently asked questions about the intake swap. So some people like me, um, I like to watch things, see how they're done. Some people like to read things, how they're done. And uh, there's, I mean, other than just the install, there's a lot of good info on his page. So I'll put the links to all that up here as, a, as well as a direct link to this item if you're interested in purchasing it. So if there was ever any question about how to do this swap between watching uh, you know, my videos how to do it and reading through his um, directions and everything online, you're pretty well set. And he's also um, just came out with some brackets for bolt-on Holly fuel rails for this swap. So if that's something you're interested, interested in, you can check out his page. Um, his Instagram is Glenn's Auto Performance. You can go there, follow him there. Um, I'm not sure if he has a Facebook page. I'm not really big in the Facebook thing, but you can check out there as well. So I guess all we have left to do now is take it for a ride and see how the uh, throttle feels. Guys, I can't even tell you how much better the throttle feels now. It's so stiff and like, not stiff like it's hard to push, but there's no slack anymore. It's all positive push. As soon as you let off, it's closed. There's no slop in the throttle anymore, so that is very nice. Huge plus. All right, let's give it the floor it test, see if, see if it holds. Yep, it holds. So we're back home. Um, will this work? Sure, why not? Um, but if you ever have to adjust anything, you're pretty much stuck with what you have unless you want to try and elongate these holes, which if you're not a good fabricator in the first place like myself, then you're kind of screwed. So for me, it is just a one and done. You don't have to ever worry about it again if you ever change throttle bodies because because these aren't factory throttle bodies. The mine is Holly, there's War, there's there's tons of different throttle bodies for these swaps that are cable driven. Because they're all different brands, they can have different tolerances, different slack or adjustment in the cable. So this would be the best option because if you ever switch between them, like I said, the thing wears out, your cable wears out, has more slack in it. All you have to do is loosen those bolts up a little bit, slide it back, tie it back down, and you're good to go. So again, thank you to Glenn for getting this part out to me, and thank you again for making such an awesome product. I highly recommend it, whether you're doing the intake swap in a truck that already has an LS, or like me that has a 98 outside doing an LS swap. If this is the intake manifold you want to go with, now we have a bolt-on option for cable-driven throttle bodies, which is awesome if you ask me. And as always, thank you for stopping in. Thank you for spending the time. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.